Step 1. Open your image. Background using method 1. And once again, you should have that background layer and the subject layer right on top of it. Next step, let's duplicate. I'm going to put the original away. Make sure we're selected on our subject layer. Let's go ahead and put that color frame. Choose the background color you want to use. I picked a section of the sky from within the image. Select the crop tool and extend the frame space down below so that we have room to add some text. Click the check mark to accept your change or press enter. So we'll choose the T, change your font size to about 150 to begin. My text color is going to be black because it is the foreground color. And then click somewhere. Actually, it doesn't matter where, but we'll see it easier down here to begin typing. And our text will be to describe what we have accomplished or what our project is for this Photoshop lesson. Once I finish my typing, I'll go ahead and accept that change. Select the Move tool. And at this point, I can place the text layer in the desired location. I can also make sure that my Show Transform controls are selected. And I can hold the Shift key down, and at the same time I could resize this making it smaller or larger. The reason we hold the shift key down is to avoid distorting the text. Accept the change and then I can reposition again using that move tool. And you can also extend this text layer by using some of those special effects that we talked about in the previous lesson. So now we have these three layers, the background, subject layer, and the text layer. The next step is to go ahead and flatten this image and merge everything down to one background. Choose Layer on the main menu. Scroll all the way down to Flatten Image. So now you will see that we have just a single background. Next, I'll choose the Crop tool, and I can either draw out a new crop, or I could select the Transform Controls and crop this image in a desired fashion. Once I like that change, press Enter or the check mark. And for the last step, I could finish this by adding another frame around the rest of the image. And for now I'll keep the same color. And once again, use the crop tool and we can simply add some of that color space. And feel free to be creative at this point. Accept the change. And there's my final image. Changing the background using method 1, adding some text and a color frame.